up, homies? It's Panda Man, and I'm outside today because it's a nice fall day. And I had to make a decision between uh, shadows in my face or squinting, so that's why I'm squinting right now. So I have something I have to show you for my 3D printed car, but that's inside. So okay, so I'm inside now. I have the 3D printed car right here. So the newest things I've added to it is this suspension right here. It's just a piece of flexible filament that's bendable. <coughs> and it gives just the right amount of tension. Like that on both sides. And I also have this central drive shaft, which is in the making right now. It's just attached with a bevel gear up to this right here. So the motor is going to be attached to this white gear right here. And that should power it. So now I have to move the cat so I can put this on the table. So now a little bit on how this was built. I just 3D printed these parts right here and made a huge T that's glued to the body. And then I attached it at the ends of the T to this top piece right here. So when it squeezes, this arm can go up. So it's naturally wanting to go down but when there's some weight on the car or it's going over a bump, they can rock back and forth if it needs to. So for the drive shaft, it's just a bevel gear attached to the main one using this mount right here, just glued onto the body, and one of these three, no, two millimeter axles that I found on Amazon gears don't contact each other quite right because they're 3D printed so I might have to come up with a better solution for this maybe one of these I'm not sure well that's about all I got done for this episode next episode I'm going to be adding the motor as long as it comes in the mail in time and rigging it up to the central drive shaft so I can finally see this thing drive on its own even if it won't have front tires so that's the end of this video like it if you liked it subscribe for more and see ya What's up, homies? What's up, homies? What's up, homies?